Imagine that within a call you try to control a robot which is positioned on the opposite side of your video communication. That's what I'm going to show you right now. This is based on a communication between two S680s, so integrator systems. Uh, it's up there. And I have the tablet that controls my S680 and I'm using that screen just to display what I'm going uh, to show you. In that context, I am basically sending commands over an encrypted channel to the remote site to control my robot. Let's see what we can do here. First, I'm doing a call. So I'm calling the remote site, which is my remote system. So it's really a video call. In that case, my remote party is called Marc Lemont. This is an S680, and we are having this call right now. And look, here on the other side, I'm picturing a watch. Could be anything, right? I'm picturing a watch which is mounted on top of a little robot, so an articulated arm that I'm going to control right now with my tablet. So if I go into the panel, here I'm using the macros that we've shown you before, and I can command my watch from a remote side. So I can move it right, I can move it left, if I want to move it up, I can move it up, I can move it down a little bit, I can do a few things from a remote perspective. I can zoom in, zoom out, sorry, or I can zoom in, right? So wherever else, I can go further, further and further if I wish. So let me go back a little bit so that you can see a little bit more of the watch itself. And I can turn it completely to look at the back of my watch. So you can realize that there is a little bit of support here that takes care of my watch. And here is this brand, I would say, um, system which is really poor here right so would you do see the battery and you do see the mechanism here and the rest of the watch is almost empty right so that's how it does so and you can see that i'm fully controlling it over the video communication and the the, the camera on the opposite side is in my case a dog camera so very basic thing and i have many controls here you do you've seen zoom in, zoom out, but at least on the camera side, I can, for example, remove a color. I'm going to remove the blue. Now I get only green sort of picture. I can go back to automatic white color. I can remove another color, for example. I remove the red, and I get, let's say, another uh, uh, way of seeing my, my, my watch, for example. I can switch on the light. This dog cam has a light, so I can switch on the light. You do see the difference. There is no auto adaptation of the uh, automatic white balance. And I can even switch off my uh, dog cam if I wish. So, and I uh, can switch off, yeah. Switch it off, right? So I can switch it on again. While it's switching on, I can explain you what's on the other side. So I have an S680. On the RS232 connectivity of my S680, I have an Arduino, very simple. And this Arduino is controlling a pair of motors. Uh, that are located on uh, this articulated arm. So we can, if I zoom back, you may see this plateau where I put my watch. You may see on the right side the, the wheels, right? And if I move a little bit more, you can see also the bottom wheels, the wheels that should appear below, right? And I can also move it and you can see it right, right? So that's how it works over a video communication, which is encrypted, but here I'm sending from my macro uh, tablet, I'm sending text commands that are encrypted, decrypted, understood my, by my Arduino, and I can pilot my motors on the other side. That's it.